Yeah, well, my purpose to, uh, today is to come in here and talk about uh, a little bit about the threat, but more importantly about the steps that we can take to um, reduce the threat, um, prepare for the threat, and recover from the actual event when it happens. So it's important that, uh, especially for this audience, because it's primarily local officials, elected officials, local emergency management uh, folks, uh, they're going to be the ones that are going to be impacted first. They're going to be the ones that are at the end having to clean up and get the uh, communities back on their feet. So, you know, the message we want to bring to them is that um, it's, all is not hopeless. There are measures that can be taken um, to reduce that risk on the front end um, with a proper uh, preparedness measures. The, the citizens, the businesses can be ready for this. And, uh, you know, we just want to, you know, spread a positive message and not try to scare people about this threat. Well, for the past three years, we've been working on a set of uh, earthquake response plans uh, at the local, state, and national level. And uh, the intent is that we'll take those plans and test them uh, and see how we've done and look for the, the vulnerabilities in those plans, the gaps, if you will. Uh, we'll do that in May of 2011. So it'll be eight states, the four FEMA regions, the federal agencies at the national level, all coming together to address an earthquake of about a magnitude 7.7 .7 and how our plans interact and, and that, act, that uh, coordination, the integration that has to take place at all those different levels of government. With the earthquake threat in the central U.S., um, although we're here in Illinois and talking about earthquake-specific uh, impacts and, and issues for the state of Illinois, it is a regional problem. It's a shared problem in the fact that it would affect uh, upwards of eight states, uh, four federal regions. Um, and so for that reason, we really need to look at working together, um, you know, especially for those communities that fall on state boundaries, state lines, where, um, say, for instance, the um, state of Illinois may have a lot of our citizens crossing over into Indiana for medical services on a daily basis. But what happens if those bridges go down and they don't have that, that access? So it's important that, uh, as eight states, uh, we work together because I Illinois has got strengths. Uh, they may have had certain planning approaches that other states haven't taken, and we can come together and share that and make all of our plans better and make our communities better prepared.